Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to the inside of a car that you haven't seen before. Um, I bought a 500 pound MX-5. Uh, it's an MB. We'll get some better shots and do a little montage thing in a second. It's a 1.8 litre. It's not the like sport one, so it does have an open diff, but we're going to sort that. Um, and I basically bought this for like a daily drifter kind of thrash it, drive to work sort of thing, you know. It's, and it seems great. 500 pounds. The arches are a little bit rusty, but I figure we just cut them out and put some over fenders and like some nice wheels or something on there. Um, but yeah, she seems decent. We'll do a bit of more of a fucking walk around in a minute after the montage, so montage time. So I hope you enjoyed that little like montage of the car. Um, it's been a little while putting that together, getting the rolling shots and stuff. I think it came out pretty good. Um, so yeah, I now have a Mark II MX-5, it's a 1998 model. Um, it is the base model, which means it doesn't have the good suspension and it has an open diff, not an LSD like some of them come with. Um, but I picked up really, really cheap. It was 500 pounds, which for this kind of car is like crazy. Has 103,000 miles, so it's like barely lived. So I'll give you a little show round, and um, we may as well start off with the interior. So as I uh, just put the roof down, so here it is. Um, so these are the stock non-tombstone seats, um, but as you can see, they've been recovered a long time ago. They kind of like sin their best, but they work for now. And I, I want to get some fabric tombstones anyway. So um, pretty standard stuff, like standard steering wheel the car is standard so it's just got like little tweaks here and there like the wood grain around here and like up there and that that's not standard obviously um but that's pretty much the interior they're not very big the roof goes down all the way but you kind of have to help it it's a bit stiff um but moving to the bit you actually care about the engine bay so the engine bay is a uh, so the engine bay was completely stock um, and then me and like four of my friends got hands on it and it's mostly stock now but we deleted some stuff so uh, I'll pop this open and we can have a look so looking in the engine bay <laughs> immediately you notice this this is like the second day I had it we made this um, this is literally a 90 I had laying around welded that onto another 90 that I had laying around had to make some weird reducer welds and stuff like that. And then Halford's cone filter, because who doesn't like the noise of an intake, no? Um, and then really the only other thing in here, everything else is stock. I had to put these core pack leads on, because um, literally the first night I owned the car, I melted this one right here, because from factory, this lays on the cover like that. So it literally just melted. So, uh, yeah. Now you may have noticed the car does have a bit of rust. Front two wheel arches, they're fine. But the really bad bit is, and this is probably the reason it was 500 pounds, is the back ones. As you can see, this is quite far gone. Um, but I've been wanting to learn how to do rust repair properly for a long time. And this popped up. Cheap. It's rusty. But I've bought sheet metal to fix this, and this is going to be another video. But 
we'll go through the steps of and me learning of we'll go through the steps of me learning how to do rust repair and uh, hopefully they turn out pretty good this is the bad one the other one the other side is not so bad and then the back of the sill on both sides is sort of coming apart but it's a 20 year old car so all in all i think i got a pretty good deal for my 500 pounds um let me know what you think say something down in the comments even if it's bad tell me tell me it's a piece of crap <laughs> i'm gonna fix it anyway and make it cool um, i think we're gonna weld the diff as well so but these will all be videos coming up the rust repair and the welding the diff and interior mods and that kind of thing so probably some handling mods as well but that's all for the future so for this video that's gonna be it so I'd just like to say thank you for watching. If you like the video, then leave a like. Uh, the analytics like me, if that happens. So smash that like button. The next video coming up is going to be on the Nissan. So subscribe for that. And that's going to be it for now. Thank you for watching. Boosted but broken. And I'll see you next time.